Some people may have an issue with Tyler Perry for one reason or another or a couple when it comes to situations such as um his movies um and his shows and everything like that. But one thing you can I can say about Tyler Perry is that there are some areas that he is solid in that he doesn't get enough credit for, such as creating opportunities for other black and up and coming actors, even some established actors to continue doing work when Hollywood has pretty much dried them out. Um, creating his own studio, bringing a economy to a area outside of Holly weird, which is a place that he tried his best and was successful in getting away from considering that they pretty much tried to undercut him in a lot of things. But another thing that he doesn't really get enough credit for is how much he does help a lot of people in the community when it comes to certain injustices. I remember he helped out with the family of, I believe it was Rayshard Brooks um, and a few others. But the most recent one was Kenneth Walker. So if in case y'all have not heard, Tyler Perry has donated one hundred thousand dollars for the legal defense fund for Kenneth Walker because you know he's still going through legal proceedings with the Breonna Taylor case and everything like that and you know when it comes to stuff like this legal fees are expensive like to pay for those lawyers and those attorneys to keep them and you know especially if you have good lawyers it costs a lot of money in order to do and Tyler Perry reached into his pocket and pulled out a hundred thousand dollars like it was nothing. But of course, to someone like him, it is nothing because he's actually had a billionaire status right now. So it doesn't, you know, this is nothing for him, but it also, I'm sure meant something to him. Kenneth Walker should not be in the predicament that he is in right now. All he was doing was defending himself, his home and trying to defend his girlfriend. Unfortunately, we know what came of that. So hate him or love him dislike him or not Tyler Perry does have some redeemable qualities about himself there may be some things that like I said we don't like about him maybe because of his choices when it comes to entertainment but there are some aspects and areas in which he does look out for his people look at what he did for um uh, Jeffrey not Jeffrey Owens it's a Jeffrey Owens you know who I'm talking about, who played Elvin on the Cosby show. What happened with him? He ended up getting that man some work on one of his shows. And that and this is what happens when you have ownership. Um, When you have ownership, you can do what you pretty much want to do. And see, because he's not shackled to the big Hollywood machine, and he has complete ownership of his own studio outright, he can do what he wants with his money. And nobody can question him what to do with it. That's what that's why I said a lot of black people, especially in entertainment, can take notes from him. Like I said, put aside the emotions and everything like that. He can do what he wants with his money. He calls the shots. And he's worked hard to get where he's at. That, that was no easy thing. Like They gave him the label of the black Walt Disney. Now, granted, there's some issues that black people have with Walt Disney, but that's a label that doesn't get thrown around like that. So I do applaud Tyler Perry in that aspect. And I always try to do videos when it, when it involves Tyler Perry. I try to do videos where it shows that he's helping the people, that he's helping the community. If it's one thing that if you there's one thing that you cannot say about Tyler Perry is that he you cannot say that he doesn't care about his people, whether it's getting them work on his shows in front of the camera or behind the camera, even working in and for the studio to helping out people like Kenneth Walker to pay for his legal defense fees, because I think they said he had a GoFundMe up and by Tyler Perry donating this money, they reached their goal. He reached his goal. The goal was $100,000. Now it's one hundred and five. So he got $5,000 left over. That's amazing. And just imagine if more people in entertainment, especially black people, would do something like this. 
my thing is why did it take so long for this to happen? Because it's not like this case was not a secret. Sure, we were late to the party with it because Lame Street Media didn't talk about it. But we've known about this case since May, right around the time of George Floyd and Ahmaud Arbery. And it's amazing because I think they, you know what, I'll put, I'll put it like this. Maybe we didn't know. Maybe we didn't know that there was a GoFundMe out there to pay for his legal fees. But the thing is, why wasn't there any kind of funds going his way even before we knew that? Now, this is no slight to Tyler Perry or anything because I'm glad that he did it. But I'm talking about others because I'm realizing that Tyler Perry seems to come to the rescue a lot of times for a lot of people. And then you have all these others out here who all they'll do is just go out there and march and make hashtags and wear shirts and say BLM. That's not helping. That's not monetary help that someone needs. If anything, Tyler Perry doing this makes him very on code. Now, granted, we had some issues, you know, with the whole Monique situation in a couple of years, you know, in the past couple of years. And we held his feet to the fire for that. But honestly, the one who definitely should have had their feet held to the fire, and I'm glad that they did, was Lee Daniels, or as I call him, Lisa Daniels, and Okra, the Mammy Supreme Wigfrey, those two right there. Those two have no redeemable qualities about themselves. But like I said, Tyler Perry, he has his issues. We know this. But when you do something like this, you cannot knock it. And like I said, this is not the first time he's done something like this. It just doesn't go noticed. Because a lot of people can't seem to separate Tyler Perry from that Medea character he created. And some other things, but mainly that. I can. I'm able to do that. Like I'm doing it right now. So I definitely commend Tyler Perry for doing this. That's a weight lifted off of Kenneth Walker and his family. Now they can proceed going forward with this case, which should not have even been brought up against them, to be quite honest. And, you know, this thing could have been handled if the right people was in place to handle it correctly such as the court jester coon, Daniel Cameron, if he was not the person he is, then this would have been resolved a long time ago. I I, I just knew something was wrong off about him when I first saw his pictures back in June. And by the way, speaking of the court jester coon, whatever happened to, you know, the attorney generals coming together with that fraud situation with 45? Because no, I don't think nothing came of it, and we really haven't heard from him since, which is a good thing. The less we hear of him, the better. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and end the video on that note. Again, shout out to Tyler Perry for helping Kenneth Walker out and his family because they couldn't, like I said, the, the, the proceedings could not go forward until he had those fees paid. Unless those fees are paid, now the services have been rendered, and this is just basically it's almost like a loan that has now been paid off. Because if that's the case, then that means that's a weight off of Kenneth Walker's shoulders and he has money left over to do what he wants to do with it. But either way, that was a pretty solid thing that Tyler Perry did. And it's unfortunate that so many others who are black in entertainment can't do the same thing. And they, But like I said, Tyler Perry is not shackled to the Hollywood machine. He has full ownership of everything that he does, all of his content he owns. If y'all want to know how to reach billionaire status and you're in the entertainment industry, use Tyler Perry as a blueprint. Despite how you feel about him, take feelings out of it and use logic. With that being said, I'm going to go ahead and end the video on that note. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comments. Like, share, subscribe, and I will talk to you in the next one.